and in southern Russia, which was the land of the Scythians. This is very important. Mm -hmm. So the Scythians eventually, several centuries later, convert to Judaism. And they take them, and they're, they're known now as Khazars. And uh, what happens is that the, uh, I guess it's the Rus who conquer the Khazars and, and basically eliminate their, their kingdom. And these remnants of the Khazars then migrate into, uh, into several parts of Europe. And they produce the aristocratic families of Hungary and Poland and Bulgaria. By the late 1600s, nearly three quarters of all the world's Jews lived in Poland, Lithuania. Northwards, newer Jewish communities were also established in Estonia and Latvia. To the south, every land had its Jewish settlements, from Bohemia to poor Galicia, to Hungary, to the Balkans, to Bulgaria, Romania, Bessarabia, what is today Moldova. The three far more powerful neighbors of Poland, that is uh, to the west, Germany, uh, to the southwest, Austria, and to the east, Russia. Sh so depicted here, you see Catherine the Great on the left and the Austrian and German officials. Being there. They simply decided to carve up Poland between the three of them. So you can see that Poland here was successively divided in three um, three partitions which uh, removed the uh, Jews from Polish control where they had lived with great peace and harmony from the 12th century until the 18th and suddenly gave Russia the world's largest single concentration of Jews. Uh, when Catherine II took over all these Jews of Poland, um, she was faced with a lot of opposition within Russia. Uh, especially the clergy said, we can't let these Jews in here. You took over this territory, very nice, you know, we'll have lots of pierogies, but how are we possibly going to deal with all these Jews? Uh, so she effected a compromise solution that said that, okay, we will not allow the Jews into the old boundaries of Russia, meaning before 1772 with the first partition. Uh, we will restrict them to the new areas that we've conquered. And she also conquered a few areas in the war with Turkey that she added to the pale as well. And they called this region, in Russian, it's just the region of settlement. In English, you have this strange word, pale of settlement. So it basically extended from halfway through Latvia in the north. It included all of what we would call today Lithuania. It includes all of Congress Poland, traditional Poland, and then right bank Ukraine, which would be the right bank of the Dnipro River, uh, all the way over to the boundary of Galicia. With the partitions, the Russian Empire had gained vast Jewish populations, which it had not had before. One bureaucratic result that was intended to control the Jews was the establishment by Russian Empress Catherine the Great in 1791 of the so-called Pale of Settlement. Jews would be restricted to the borderlands of the Russian Empire, the Pale. Their movement to Russian lands further east was banned. In the years that followed, literally hundreds of other discriminatory Russian imperial laws were enacted that further hemmed in Jewish life in the Pale. 